Oh, Robert, um, shall we call your jury? Yes. How did it go? It went, went really well. I sat through uh, most of the sessions. It's really exciting, the winners that we have to show you. But the, uh, the startups were really good. Uh, in fact, there, there were so many I picked that were, didn't make the list. Oh. <laughs> So I Twittered about them instead. Oh, OK. <laughs> That's fine. But then, and also I should apologize because obviously there were some connections issues. But that was like, a, so I should apologize to all the startups who yeah. presented. And uh, it, it added some more difficulty, but everybody was treated the same. And honestly, if I, was, if I would have been a startup here, I would have felt really bad. And I apologize again. But still, everybody was treated the same, right? Like, Absolutely. Okay. Everybody didn't have Wi-Fi down there. <laughs> so. It, it, it was interesting to see how uh, entrepreneurs uh, did under pressure when they had to give a plan B presentation. Didn't right. Their live Which is a criteria for business, right? Absolutely. Should we call your uh, judges? Absolutely. So we have uh, several really good judges. We have Ola Alverson, uh, co-founder and CEO of Result, and I'm sure I'm hacking his name. We have Hi, Ola. Lawrence. Welcome. Are you a nice shirt. <laughs> Lor we have Lawrence Shiozoto of Sun. Microsystems, France. We have Julien Cordiono. I'm sorry, I'm the hacking. Unit. Julien Codorniu. Let me help. <laughs> uh, global business development manager at Microsoft. We have Megan Smith, vice president of business development at Google. I'm sure I hacked her name too. <laughs> and we have Pascal Thomas, the VP of Orange at Nexton. Bienvenue um, Pascal. Next.com and Orange. So come on out here. So the floor is yours. So. Uh, what trend? What did you see uh, yesterday that impressed you? What, what did you take away? Was there any surprises? Anything that you uh, want to tell the audience about? Well, a lot of companies that we saw in our panel were about making the web easier, making website creation easier, making e-commerce website creation easier. Uh, but we also saw a lot of featured companies, and, uh, and but but also very promising companies with real nice software IP. So it was very hard to make a choice. Keep talking. Wonderful, wonderful set of companies. Um, I thought, yeah, about making the web easier, but also a lot of companies dealing with the volume of information that we have now. There's a wonderful video search company, uh, company helping with all the APIs, try to help the developers with the volume of APIs. Just a range of that kind of company. Really good. Yeah, we, we saw some, some pretty strong business plan and business models. And uh, on the other side, we saw some great and, and quite impressive technology. But rarely, we, we, we saw both uh, at, a, at a time. That's, uh, that's the key. I think that uh, a lot of the companies were not as ambitious and grand in their, in their visions as maybe a year ago. Uh, some of the compan uh, companies, to, to be a little bit critical, were more of a function that would have fitted into somebody else's product than a company in it by itself. Uh, but on the sort of the, 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 the best end of the bell curve, there were some really interesting, uh, interesting companies. And yeah, maybe a lot of um, companies would try to merge the web and the mobile. So we have seen a lot of uh, projects coming um, from the web and try to um, port the web on the mobile in, in different ways. And I think that's quite uh, interesting to see the, the, the merge with web and mobile on the services. Should we uh, pull the companies out and see them and uh, see the final three uh, finalists? I don't know the w who the winners are yet, so, so we're not going to pull them out in any order, but uh, we'll find out about the winners after we see the three finalists. So the first finalist is Zuver, who has uh, a really interesting travel site to show us. Can we have Zo Zuver come out on stage? Oh, and they're out here? Yep. Come on out here. And uh, introduce who you are. My name is uh, Stefan Bosman, I'm the CEO of Super International. Okay. And, uh, My name is Raphael, and I'm the country manager of France for Super France. And so what are we going to see today? So um, I will uh, introduce you to Zuber, our features, our model, um, how and uh, why we are a profitable company. And um, so you will see why we are here standing uh, in front of you today. Let's see it, and then we'll talk about you. <laughs> Thank you. So, bonjour. Um, like I said, um, I'm the country manager for France at Zuver. Uh, so, you saw so Stefan, who was our CEO. So, Zuver is a travel um, review community website. And travel being such a competitive space where we are really proud of being the only player nominated this year. And I cannot tell you how uh, freaking happy we are to be uh, um, standing in front of you today. 
So Zoover is not a niche website, it's about holidays. So holidays, this is something so important. We're all waiting for them. We dream of them. We also idolize them. But do we really want to end up in this pool? For the ones who don't, you'd better inform yourself to avoid such surprises. So Zoover is all about user-generated content. From the start, um, our aim has been to keep the user in the center of our attention. In our model, the user has um, more importance than the technology itself is the real value of our concept. So on the top of uh, written text, um, we have pictures, videos, maps. Zoover is, uh, is different because it's uh, privately owned and fully independent. And this is a critical point when you talk about reviews. We do not sell uh, directly travel packages in order to avoid uh, conflicts of interest. Uh, we have reviews and opinions not only about hotels, but as well about apartments, campsites, cruises, tourist attractions, restaurants, and as well destinations. We are active on both consumer and uh, business side. We provide uh, transparent and objective information to the consumers. And on the business side, uh, we generate qualified traffic uh, to uh, travel players, or we also increase their conversion uh, rates for the ones who integrate our content to their own websites. Um, so I will not go for a live demo, because as uh, some of you could have noticed, um, it's not that stable, but I have a plan B with some uh, screenshots. So this is our home page. Let me take you to... Um, Friends, so here you have an idea of all the partners uh, we are, some of the partners we are working for. Um, now I'm taking you to Paris, France, city of love. Um, as you can see, we don't only have reviews about um, accommodation, but about uh, destination as well. Um, so from the comments of our um, consumers, you can see that Paris is not such a child-friendly destination but it's a great destination or for who is looking for uh, cultural activities. So now um, we are at the level of a hotel. Uh, you can see that uh, we have uh, a few hundred uh, reviews about it and um, a clear um, and a transparent information about it. Uh, you see, for instance, that uh, it's well rated um, about the situation in the center. So this is an information that you can trust. It doesn't come from the hotel himself. Uh, it really comes from uh, clients who are staying there. Want to know more about the hotels in terms of um, prices and availability? You just click on the following links there and you uh, land uh, on our partners. And this is how we make the money. Uh, we generate them uh, targeted traffic and uh, get uh, some CPC for that. So we have some uh, really cool tools as well for uh, tour operators of our hotels. Uh, we propose them to uh, integrate our content on their uh, own products. Like this, it brings uh, transparency, um, and that helps them to hire uh, their um, transformation ratio. It also uh, lowers their click out because all the useful information is on their website. And it also limits the number of complaints because the customers uh, know what they will uh, find there. And the best thing of this as well is that we offer this service for free. The only thing we ask in return actually is um, to uh, get some help in order to collect new reviews. We also have a syndication model for hotels where they can as well um, integrate um, their um, reviews. It helps them to um, have access to um, some information that uh, uh, where they can track the, the level of quality and it also increases their sales uh, for the one who have good reviews, of course. We will be launching by the end of the year um, uh, my Zuber Travel Community. It's a great tool that will uh, help us to know better our customers. They will be able to create an account uh, and share with their friends all their travel plans. Um, it will increase as well the collection and the, the quality of the reviews, and uh, we will get useful information about uh, the travel trends. So we started in uh, 2007 with uh, four websites across Europe. Um, this year we have 13, 
Next year, we'll have 21. Um, we also have local offices on the, each market where we have uh, local staff who understand the, the specificity of each market and who develop uh, deals and partnerships with local players. So we uh, are reaching by the end of the year uh, 100 million um, visits and we hope to double this uh, by the next, end of uh, next year. So our client portfolio covers mainly all big players in the travel market. Um, and the good thing, like I said, is that uh, we are really profitable already uh, in the markets where we started, Benelux and Germany, and we expect to be profitable as well in other markets by the end of uh, next year. So the actual crisis is an opportunity for us uh, because um, our added value is underlined by both travelers and professionals. Uh, it has never been so important to get to get the transparency on the travel product about um, your holidays, your accommodation. Uh, consumers want, uh, okay, want a great value for their money. Uh, on the other hand, the professional wants to uh, um, optimize their budget. They care uh, like never on their return on investment. And according to our customers, uh, we have uh, one of the highest conversion ratio in the travel space. So next time you plan your holidays, uh, first, go to Zoover and check out before you check in. Thank you. Thank you. Very cool. So what, what impressed the judges about, about this company other than that cool video at the end? <laughs> the, the profitability yeah. of the company, which is pretty rare these days. Well, it's, it's, it's targeted at the right audience that, you know, that, that has a transaction in mind, right? A, a traveler is going to spend a lot of money, and so they're aimed at grabbing that, that transactional audience, which is what Google does so well, that, isn't it? I th you know, I think... Uh, one of the things we know in the web is all of us know much more than any single one of us. And so they're doing a wonderful job, as, as several companies are, of aggregating the wisdom of crowds and bringing that to each other. And their thumbs up, the, the voting. It's this wonderful, lightweight, and profitable, popular uh, product. Well, I, <clears throat> I think that uh, only when you read a criminal novel, you want to know who the murderer is, the last page. So I think that from a presentation perspective, they should have put the figures first, because then you would have listened with even bigger ears to everything else. And that was something that struck me when, 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 when judging the company. It's like, okay, okay, and then so, wow, they're really growing, they're doing something right, users like it. So, so I think that they should lead a little bit more with the, uh, with the figures and, and make us understand that earlier on. Yeah. Yeah, what's, what's really impressive is the fact that they have uh, really merged the communities and the people who are going to uh, travel with the, um, the industry. So it's a good mix between the industry and, and the um, uh, communities who participate in the, in the value of the website. And that's, I think, the real, the, the new web is coming from those, um, those existing sites. Very cool. Well, should we call up our uh, second uh, uh, panel, or our second company, Westcom? If you could uh, come up and get ready, and uh, we'll continue talking until you say you're ready. Are you ready? OK. So who are you? Uh, hello, my name is Vidrba. I'm from Westcom. And I will present our startup from the Czech Republic. What, what we liked about your company is uh, the, the, the approach you have to building websites, right? Yeah. So we, we're interested. Uh, can you use that one, or do you want? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thanks for this one. Uh, okay, can we switch the presentation off? So please switch on the presentation. Uh, this is my grandma. She's 82 years old, and she met my grandfather here in Paris during the Second World War. They got married very young and had five sons. And these five sons got another 12 children, grandchildren. Actually, I'm one of them. 
the small one over there. But last winter, my grandfather died. And it was a very sad time for the whole family, but mainly for my grandmother, who became really depressed because she lost the sense of her life. We tried to help them, of, uh, help her, of, of course, as a family, but it didn't work. It looks like she wants to lose the fight and follow our grandfather. But luckily, my brother realized that my grandmother is a very good cook and she can not only prepare a very good food, but also write about cooking, about food, and talk about it. So in the age of internet, we convinced her to start her blog, to share her ideas with other users in age of 82 years. And it works. She's smiling again. She found a new sense of her life. And what more? Last week, she ran her new business. New business, first new business in her life. New eShop solution for selling French special food. And now you should ask me at this point how it's possible as this pretty old woman can work with IT. And the answer is WebNode. WebNode is a free website builder that can be used by anyone without any technical skills. Even my grandmother can use it. So what is WebNode? WebNode, you can find it at webnode.com address. It was launched in January this year, and up today it has more than 250,000 uh, registered, registered users, which uh, and uh, their projects are visited by more than 4 million unique visitors per last month, and this number is growing very rapidly, plus 40% every month. The system is offered for free, and it has no advertising. So you should ask me at this point how it can make money. The answer is premium business model, so it means that we offer the basics for free while we'll change for premium services like extra disk, disk space or email accounts, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, this is our web development team, 12 people working together for more than five years in the Czech Republic, very stable and experienced team. And uh, at the end of this presentation, uh, again, WebNode means free website builder. And in LeWeb, we are launching the new, the new feature uh, that is uh, also based on drag and drop solution. It's issue builder, which will I present you in a moment. And we are also launching the French version of WebNode, and you can find it at webnode.fr. So now let me show you the demo online. This is uh, the eShop um, of my grandmother. You can see here a lot of products, tags, categories, uh, full text search, etc. So it look, looks like a normal e-commerce solution. But what is really interesting on this presentation, how you can administer it. After login, you see something like this. Exactly the same page as see your visitors with one difference. Uh, at, the, uh, at the up of the page, uh, there is a toolbar for which you administer and uh, special content blocks that you can edit. So for example, if you want to edit this block, you easily double click here, you can change the content and you will see how the page will look after publishing. The whole system is based on drag and drop solutions. So for example, if you want to add a new content, for example, a poll to your page, you easily drag it from the toolbar and drop it in the place on the page where you want to appear. 
And of course, if you want to change the position, you easily drag it on another place, and it also changed the layout. Now have a look uh, to some category where are some products. If I want to edit this product, I don't have to visit any complicated administrative tools, modules, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I easily double click on the product and I can change all the items here. And after saving, I will look how it will looks after publishing. Uh, users have a lot of possibilities how to manage their page. So for example, if I want to change the layout of this page, I easily add the column here. And as you can see, uh, I can drag and drop, for example, uh, best-selling products here. So again, very easy to use, no technical skills needed. And if you want, for example, to change to another layout, it's, again, very easy. My favorite is the second frog. So the page looks like this. Uh, so at the end of my presentation, uh, I would like to thanks to like for a, a perfect conference. From my point of view, it was about love, as he said a lot of times but mainly to laugh to revenues. So our business model is called Freemium, as I told you, and uh, the project is after 11 months of, uh, after the launch, fully still funding through the premium model. So from my point of view, the premium model works. Thank you for your attention. What I loved about that was he told a story. I've sat through so many demos and pitches, not just here at the web, but you know, in my life, and so few entrepreneurs put it concisely into a story like that. Is that something that you agree with? Yeah, I, I would say the simpler the better, as always. You know, we, we can see that uh, a very simple solution can be adopted very rapidly, and it's really about explosive growth in terms of adoption. That's, that's a big success. Yeah. Anybody else have anything else to say? Yeah, it's, it's great to see that now the web could uh, appear to everybody. It's not only for the geeks, and uh, it could be for everybody. And uh, his grandma is, uh, is really a good example. Of if, uh, if a grandma can access and create something like that on the web, we, we're going to change the web, and we're going to change what the web could create in terms of value chain and the value for the, um, the entire economy. Yeah, I think that that's very true. Um, one of the next waves of the web is all of these small businesses and people, individuals, but the small businesses that don't have a presence and bringing them in, giving them tools so that, you know, they want to get on with their business. They don't want to work on the web. And so this kind of a product is wonderful. I, the other thing that they have is their freemium model, which attracted us as judges. There are several companies doing web, simpler web websites that were wonderful. This particular model lets everyone start, and then you can pay a little more when you need more advanced services. It's a great way to make a viral company. I, I like the, the, the store model that they had and the drag and drop simplicity because uh, this, having the drag and drop simplicity means normal people can get into this where before you really needed an e-commerce you know, uh, a, a consultant and team to build out your site like this. Yeah. So uh, this last one, everybody in the hall, you should watch this last one. This is pretty mind-blowing uh, technology. Uh, it's a company named Butyl. Are you guys, uh, Butyl, can you come up on stage? Thank you, and uh, introduce yourself. My name is Laurent, uh, Laurent Gilles. I'm the, the president of Udo. Yeah. And what are we about to see? Um, you're going to see some uh, new technology we have developed in Ukraine um, that helps you better understand video uh, in the sense that we are able to reconstruct a semantical analysis, or visual analysis of videos. I have a surprise for you. <laughs> um, I, I, What's I, up, Lloyd? I didn't mean to interrupt. You've not started, right? No. OK, you're about to start. So you'll have a special guest watching your uh, presentation. Uh, <laughs> uh, for all of us, I think it's a very, very um, um, important that we, you know, we have uh, some help from the public, uh, from the government. And I'm really, really glad to announce that uh, your presentation will be also seen and will have some comments by Christine Lagarde, who is the uh, Minister of uh, Economy uh, and Finance of France. Christine, if you want oh, to join wow. us. <laughs> Thank you so much, so Christine. 
It's a real honor. This is Robert Scobo. Uh, it's Please a real honor to have you on stage with me because most most of the audience knows you. I didn't. I did. I was just uh, told about you. You're one of the only women in the G8, and you're like second in in French. Uh, Number two politics. in government. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Christine. Thank you. It's so nice of you for uh, taking a few minutes now, of your time. Is that a little bit more pressure, Butel? Yeah. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> so Christine will uh, will join us for a few comments, Can and uh, and then we will ask. Please, <laughs> sorry, and then we will announce the winners. So. Yeah. Just keep talking. Is it working? Yeah. This is more pressure. <laughs> so we have some competition now in the, on the stage. Um, so as I say, we are very proud uh, and very excited to, uh, to uh, be here, to present in front of our peers, and a uh, very uh, prestigious panel uh, from France and, and other countries. Um, what, we want, what I'm going to show you is a technology we have developed out of Kiev in Ukraine. Um, it's something that we took two years to develop. Uh, we started in 2006 um, in Kiev. It was really um, formulas on, on the whiteboard, and that's that's really how we started. We we uh, we uh, met some very um, uh, very uh, knowledgeable scientists um, that was were working on visual analysis, and um, we. Try to find some ways of using this technology for civil civil purpose. So, it started from Ukraine. Uh, we have about 26 engineers, um, six PhDs in in mathematics, uh, in computer science, um, and uh, we uh, um, spent the last two years to develop this visual analysis on how to uh, better understand what is a video. Uh, whether it's uh, user-generated content or whether it's uh, professional content. Um, basically, in, in um, looking at videos, what we are able to tell you is who is inside the video. We are looking at the frames. We are looking at face recognition in a very scalable and accurate way. Uh, we are looking at what these people are talking about. And we are, going, we are able to tell you when they are talking about sub-subject. We, we combine these three elements of who is there, what it is about, and when they're saying such uh, for the purpose of creating a very uh, a massive index of, um, of the video itself. Our business model, very, very important now, we, we, uh, we got our first customer two months ago, so it's really, it's happening. Um, we are selling uh, tools uh, for our customers um, to, uh, to use uh, our, our APIs for the purpose of search, for the purpose of search and discovery, um, and for the purpose of better monetizing what they have. We're going to show you three examples of this. The first one is a classic uh, video search and discovery. Um, you, you're gonna see two examples of this. Then we will show you um, a consumer application of this and, and an example of how you can embed this technology inside uh, mobile devices. First example is a work we have done just uh, work we have done for Reuters. Um, this is the work we've done uh, in uh, February. This was really the first version of our engine. We are going to search for uh, Madame the Minister Christine Lagarde uh, on Reuters clip when uh, Madame the Minister is talking about the economy. Uh, this, this clip was coming from, I believe, uh, February, so it's a little bit old. What you can see is we, we have uh, given a result of all the clips within, within uh, Reuters where uh, Madame the Minister is on screen, on stage, and is talking about the keyword economy. The, what is interesting with this technology is when you add visual analysis to tags or to speech to text or to closed caption, is you're able to bring um, the consumer directly to the piece within this video that you are looking for. Another example we have, uh, Jason, is uh, um, uh, <laughs> a famous clip from uh, Sarah Palin in the US, and she was talking of, she was wondering why uh, gasoline prices are higher in Alaska. And what is in this is a work we've done for uh, um, potential clients, it's for Fox News. Um, what you can see here is we have catch uh, Sarah Palin on these keywords, which is gasoline price. And so because we right know, now, right? 
since the price of here, here gasoline she is. is still higher than any other state, and yet, again, it's, it's developed here. It's what is interesting with this clip is because we know when she's talking about the word Sarah, it, about the word gasoline price, we're able to generate a preview of that video. This is a one-hour clip, so it's a long-form clip uh, that we took from from uh, US cable cable t television, and we were able to show you the direct, the precise moment of of uh, of uh, the candidate speaking of this subject. Uh, this is, we believe, a very innovative way of doing uh, video search because it, it's, instead of looking traditionally as files, you know, you're looking at video search, you're looking at videos, you hope they are not too, too long clips because what, you know, you hope the clips is only two or three minutes because then the consumer may look for, for the whole clip. In our case, regardless of the length of the clip, we bring you directly to the place that you're looking for. Regardless of, you know, whether the clip is a one hour, or 30 minutes, regardless of um, the titles, the transcript, anything, we just bring you directly to this place. This is um, what, it is a very interesting uh, application of vision, uh, visual analysis for the purpose of search. Another um, application we have is uh, something, it's a showcase, something we have done on Facebook. Um, and think of the following way when you do visual analysis, is you're looking, so for Madame the Minister, you're looking for Sarah Palin, um, but you can, we can also look for your mother last Christmas, or we can look for your friends. We can index your home stuff, your, your personal videos, based on who is inside. And then we have the concept of sharing these videos based on the actual experience you had with your friends when you were taking the video. This example is uh, the dashboard of Jason. Hey, video friends. I just um, and this is a video that Jason has uploaded. The system is giving you suggestions of, of who this person may be. Once you tag uh, these persons on Facebook, they automatically receive an email. And the email says, oh, we have found a video in which you appear. Why don't you click here to watch yourself? The click through on these emails is 100%. It's the same as photo tagging. But in our case, it's for video and it's automatic. It goes a little bit further because this is Facebook, so we can visualize video along your social graph. The idea here is um, you have a friend, the friend is Igor, and you have videos of him, but what is cool about Igor is you have all the friends that also have video of him. And then suddenly you can watch and you can search along your social graph to see all the videos of your friends that were made by other friends, as long as they are part of your social, social network. This is what uh, Jason is showing. This is a video of, of Igor, he's a, our CTO in, in Kiev. And, and you can see on the dashboard all the videos that all the friends have um, of, of Igor. So it's, it's a concept of how do you apply visual analysis based on um, sharing your home stuff, your personal things, based on who is inside. To finish, uh, ah, another thing is we, we're launching this in Japanese as well. Thank you. So this is the same version in Japanese. Um, to finish, um, the, what is very interesting with this concept is this is user-generated content. We are able to index um, videos made on mobile phone, video made on digital camera. And we, are, we, uh, we just uh, signed a joint venture last week in Japan uh, with a famous businessman in Japan. We're trying to bring this technology inside the mobile device so that um, while you are taking uh, w during the time of the experience of making uh, a video with your friends, we will be able to index the video in real time, find your friends in real time, and send them emails or warnings to say, click here to, to watch yourself. So that's a kind of the, the ultimate uh, way of doing video, video indexing, video sharing, is you are doing this inside the device itself. That, that's it all. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Anybody want to take on how cool that was? <laughs> you know, technically, that was extraordinary. But you had a, a great point that we don't know the business model here, right? I think you, you were saying that before. Uh, I'm saying. Yeah. Just keep talking. They'll, yeah, they'll the, yeah it out. yesterday it was not clear, but now it's clear. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think uh, l last month uh, YouTube become, uh, became the number two in search. Uh, though I think video bec is going to be the next big thing on the web. 
um, uh, Didier Lombard, our president, is, is talking about video and video search every time uh, he, he did it yesterday. And I think uh, being uh, some startup uh, investing into those technologies is really great. And we need those uh, elements to move the, the video market to the next, uh, next generation. Yeah, I'm excited because on, on Fast Company TV, I do 40 minute long videos. And now I can use this technology to get right in on the sound bite that Megan will give me in, in a 40 minute conversation. Yeah, this is something that a lot of people have been working on, uh, including Microsoft. But it, it looks like this one is working. I don't know if it's superior to any other technologies, but it's live, it's working, and it's worth being promoted here at, at the web. Yeah. I think can can uh, somebody from the team tell me how much uh, how how processor dependent the technology is? Because I've seen at Microsoft Research earlier technology that does similar stuff, but it took four hour of processor time to to index one hour of video. Yeah, it's, it's actually a good question because that, that impact Robert. the cost, the production cost and the scalability. We, in, in a single uh, two core processor, we are a little bit faster than real time. So in, in, a, in a small $500 box, you can index one broadcasting channel more or less in real time. Just one thing is we, we are making a lot of tests on... Um, Massively parallel, parallelism on this because you can apply this to videos, and we are we are playing around with Nvidia, Nvidia GPU, multi-core GPU. Uh, that our, our test shows that it's probably two or three times faster for half the cost using GPUs, so specialized processor. So I think we should uh, we should move on move yeah. on to the to the results, who, right? Who wants to know the winner? You don't, yeah, we should go to <laughs> the winners. We should. Probably um, have uh, the, the, the all the startups. Uh, so, so you cheated, Robert. You you told the minister right before you came on stage. I didn't tell her anything. <laughs> but it looks like she has a list of winners. I don't even know. <laughs> so, what do you think, Christine? So, this is the competition, and uh, they don't tell me anything because they know I leak. <laughs> <laughs> they know I'll Twitter the winner before I get on stage if I knew all the winners. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, I, I suggest. Uh, Christine announces the, uh, the winners, if you want, and then we will have a, a conversation with, uh, with Christine and, and, uh, and talk, uh, you want to help? Yeah. Okay. Christine, how, how, do you, how do you, how do, how do you how feel do about the contest, the competition, the fact that we have this in Paris? I wish everybody spoke French. <laughs> oh. But that's okay. That's for me. That, that, that's I can tell you off, yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, how do you proceed? Do you have bronze first? Yeah, we have bronze, silver, and gold, and we may want to start by bronze. Okay, so let me call the bronze winner, who is called 200 Zuver, Zuver Holiday Reviews, is the winner of bronze. Can you hand up? No, no. <laughs> wow. Félicitations. Oh, bravo. <laughs> Salut. Bravo. Okay, next one. Maybe you want to go here? Next one. All right, this, the winner of silver is Webnod Company Westcom. Bravo. There you go. <laughs> and now the one you all wanted to know, the gold medal winner is Vudel. <laughs> bravo, bravo. Stay here. Look at here. <laughs> All right, maybe we should. Uh, judges, would you like to stand up and, and the Thank startups you. in the front? We do a cool a picture. We will just take a picture, uh, Casey, okay. if you want. Let's go in the front. There you go. And maybe we can all move to the front. So I would like to thank the judges as we are in this. Uh, thank you. Congratulations again. I think we were, uh, were good for pictures. Thank you very much. And congratulations to the winner. Thank you for, for all the judges. Robert, do you have a final uh, conclusion? Well, and thank you to all the startups. They were all really great. And we're going to be covering more of them on our blogs over the next couple of days. And there are two last things. One is we have a son who has a gift for the startups, actually a last and minute gift, right? We, we want to hand out this. We yes, forgot and the we people also. Choice award yes, too. Let, let's start by the. Uh, uh, by the, uh, so what, what is that? Uh -huh. Servers. Yeah. Sun servers. 
So, yeah, this, this world is free, but I hope the, the following will be, you know, chargeable. Okay. What is it? <laughs> Servers. Ooh. Okay, good. You have something as well arranged? Wow. Okay. And what are these? Uh, it's a laptop. Great. All right, a laptop, cool. Nice. Wow. And, uh, <laughs> all right, well, that's a lot of... Uh, so okay, and we have a people choice as well, just to finish with. Yeah, all the, all the attendees were uh, rating on a little electronic device while they were giving their presentations, and so this is a, a big award too. Silent Ale was the winner that the people chose. So. Which we added, so congratulations. There is no, it's something we decided last minute, yeah. but uh, congratulations to them. So I would like thank to thank you, you all, and uh, we'll have a very quick uh, conversation with Christine. Thank you all, the judges, congratulations uh -huh. to the startups.